Hey everyone, it's Kirk here again at Option Alpha. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your Option Alpha account to TastyTrade so you can start trading and auto trading through Option Alpha directly in your TastyTrade account. So our latest partner, super excited about this one. We know you all are as well. So inside of your account settings here, you're gonna to go to your trading accounts and then you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see that there is a new broker connection here that you can authorize, which is Tasty Trade. So what you're gonna do is simply click on this button here to authorize Tasty Trade, put in your Tasty Trade account information. So I'll put in mine here and then my password. And once you're good to go here, you just simply hit authorize and you're done. That's literally it. So once you put in your information, take care of everything with the Tasty, T Tasty Trade team on the back end. And now your account is ready to go. You'll see your account listed here inside your trading accounts if they're available for auto trading. And also if you have any, uh, if you have multiple accounts at Tasty Trade, as long as they're available under that one login, you can access all of the accounts from the one login you just used. Then you'll see all of those accounts listed here as well. You'll see your options level here that gets passed through. You see everything in here. So you can of course rename this, which I usually do to something like main tasty trade account. And then I just simply hit save. That way you know which one it is. So if you have multiple ones like an IRA or a margin account, you can just rename those to keep those organized for your option alpha trading. So now that I have my Tasty Trade account connected, I'm gonna go over here to my bots. I'm gonna create a brand new bot. And this time I'm going to connect it to my new Tasty Trade account. So you can see it's listed here in the dropdown for the accounts because you have to choose an account that that bot is connected to. And now I can just choose my main Tasty Trade account. So I can do this, say Kirk's Tasty Bot and give it some capital allocation. It'll get started $2,000 and then create the bot. Now, when I go into the bot settings, because this account is connected to TastyTrade, and this will help out if you're brand new and you already have some positions at TastyTrade, now you wanna start moving those over into bots to manage. You can actually do that right here now that you have a bot connected to TastyTrade. So once I'm in here, I can go over to that position tab and I can create a new position, enter a new trade, which we can do here together too or I can import an existing trade that I have over at Tasty Trade. Now you can see here that inside of my Tasty Trade account, I do actually have an existing position that I was using when we were doing dev testing earlier before we released this integration to everyone else. And so I still have that one position in here. You can see I have no activity today. I didn't enter the order already. It was a previous trade that I got into. And so I just have that single one position that I left over so that I can import it here into my account. So I'm gonna go ahead to import I'm going to go down to short put spread. And now you can see that the legs that I have available to choose from, there's only two. If you had more, you would have more legs and you can kind of group and associate them together. Uh, but I only have these two legs here. I can import it in. It also imports in the actual trade price from Tasty Trade as well, the quantity of the contracts, et cetera, which is really cool because it can just really easily keep you organized with your new trade. Go ahead and import that, this position. And when that position gets imported, now it is inside of your option off account. You can go into this position now, you can see all of the cool performance metrics and graphs on the trade. And you can also start using things like exit options. You can turn these on and start monitoring these if you want to. So you can say 15 minutes before the close, avoid pattern day trading, take profits if I'm X. Now this one's already really, really high. It's probably gonna expire worthless out of the money anyway. So I'll just leave it on, let it expire. But again, you can start doing this inside of your account. Just import all your positions uh, from Tasty Trade and start letting bots manage those positions automatically for you. Now, the other thing you can do is, of course, you can go over to Trade Ideas and find a new trade and then execute that in your Tasty Trade account, which we'll do now. So again, inside of my Tasty Trade account right now, I have no activity. I'm not sending over any orders. We'll start to see these orders come through. We'll just jump back and forth between these tabs as these orders start to go over. But I'm gonna go into my trade ideas. I'm gonna use one of my presets for EV neutral trades I like to look for. Um, and then I'm just gonna look for a potential trade here. Actually the top one here, which is this QQQ Iron Condor. Looks pretty good, good risk to reward. It's got positive expected value, pretty even max loss, max profit, which is good, which means hopefully we have a little bit of edge here, great alpha. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this position. Again, you can modify or adjust any of these legs here that you want. As you're starting to move things around, it's totally up to you again. And once you're good to go with it, then what you simply wanna do is set that final price. So we'll do 235, something like that. So it gets filled. We'll try to use fast, smart pricing. 
and then what we can do is select the bot that it goes into. Now in this case, we're gonna select our new bot, which is Kirk's Tasty Bot that tells Option Alpha which place to send this order. In this case, you wanna send it to your new Tasty Trade bot. If you don't have a bot yet, you can create a new bot right in here too. Start with a blank canvas, connect it to your new Tasty Trade account, and continue on, just build up a new bot just for these trades. And of course, you can preset your exit options. So we can use 40% of credit, you can use fast, smart pricing, expiration, one hour before expiration. We'll use up to four cents of slippage here. And then we can set to avoid pattern day trading as well, so we don't get tagged as a pattern day trader. Basically, you can create the whole trade here, let Option Alpha manage it through your connection with Tasty Trade. So once we're good to go here, we simply are going to place this trade here. And then you can see over here, well, it already got filled in, you can see, but it was already placing orders before we even got a chance to slip over and uh, go ahead and look at the actual orders themselves. So if you go in here to option alpha, you can see it refreshed. We've got this new position in, we did actually get filled live trade, right? As I was talking about this, 235 trade price, pretty good risk to reward odds on this thing. It's a little bit bearish in tilt for sure, uh, but it looks like it might end up being a pretty decent trade. So if markets kind of curl back a little bit from where they're at right now, QQQ has had a huge run up recently. So it's kind of playing the opposite kind of look at the market right now. So we'll see where it goes. But again, all of this information right here inside of your main Tasty Trade bot. If I go to my positions now, you can see I've got two positions listed, one that I actually traded. So that one will be here inside the log because I opened a new position. And the other position I just simply imported from my existing positions at Tasty Trade. So hopefully that really helps out showing you just how easy it is to connect to Tasty Trade, get up and running with either automated trading or manual trading, all from Option Alpha. Again, if you have any questions, let us know. Until next time, happy trading.